You've probably never heard of Australian Dr Ken Micklethwaite, but that could be about to change. Just wondering how the, the CAR T cells are going in the peripheral blood today. Ken has spent the last decade quietly working away on a new and amazing cancer treatment which is now yielding the most exciting results. The motivation for doing this sort of work is because we want to cure cancer. It's a modest that. aspiration. Well, well we, we, not, we want to not have to actually say to those people, look, there's nothing else that we can do. We want to say to them, look, we've got this thing and it will most likely cure you. There's nothing 19-year-old Todd O'Shea likes better than spending his time bush bashing in a beaten up, supercharged four-wheel drive. It's a distraction from thinking about the terrible disease he lives with. Uh, it looks like we're going off road now, mate. Yeah, we sure are. Bloody hell, that's a big hole. Mm -hmm. oh. As his mum Kate tells it, Todd's leukaemia diagnosis was, as it so often is, almost accidental. He'd broken his arm falling off a motorbike. The doctor in the ED just gave him a, a full, you know, checkup from coming off. Mm. An hour and a half later, uh, we were told it looked like Todd had leukaemia. He was going to be taken in an ambulance straight down to Westmead Children's, and treatment would begin. Could you believe that? No, no, none of us could. We're, I called my sister, I think Matt called his parents and Todd was on his Facebook, you know, chatting to his friends and he said, Mum, how do you spell leukaemia? And I was like, what is, what, what is this conversation? What's happening to us? Leukaemia is a frightening word. It's Australia's most common young person's cancer and one of the most deadly. For Todd O'Shea, this was completely unknown territory. That kind of encapsulates it, doesn't it? How do you spell leukaemia? It's something you'd never thought of, had mm, you? Never. No. So what, you Google it to find out what it means? At first I asked the doctors, I was, I was terrified. I thought I was gonna die. I was bawling my eyes out for days on end, just n not knowing what to do. But Todd had luck on his side. For this to be successful, you need a whole lot of infrastructure which we've built up. Dr Ken Micklethwaite from Sydney's Westmead Institute is at the forefront of treating blood cancers in Australia. It's not easy, it takes years of effort and money, and on top of that, researchers are only human. And Ken suffers a terrible reality that despite his efforts, many of his patients will not survive. One of the main motivations is to try and actually improve the chance of cure for, for the patients that we treat on a daily basis. Not to have to have that awful conversation. Yeah. Does that get easier as you go on? You no. haven't been at it that long no. by the look of you. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get any easier um, as you go along. I guess, you know, philosophically you come to accept that it's an important part of your job, um, but it's, it's never easier. Up next to Anger F. A cure for cancer. Once thought wildly optimistic is now being advanced by the world's most brilliant minds. Dr. Micklethwaite's doing it using modified immune cells called CAR T cells. CAR T cells are, are basically where we take immune cells that are unable to see cancer. We insert a gene in them that enables them to actually see and then respond to and kill cancer cells. In the United States, three CAR T cell treatments have now been approved by the Federal Drug Administration. So give me that smile again with the no tooth. Oh, that's the great news is the therapies come with a 70 to 80% success rate. Not such great news, the price. This treatment in the United States costs $500,000 a dose, is that right? Yeah, so, so about half a million dollars Australian equivalent. OK, so what I'm hoping that we can do is to take cells from the... Dr Micklethwaite and his team's brilliant achievement is to drive down the cost of these CAR T cells, developing a new and cheaper way of making them right here in Australia. Now, with the process that you people are developing, how much will it cost? Under ten thousand, I'm hearing. Well, so so that the answer to that I, is a little. I know you don't want to put a price yeah, on it, no. but it's a lot less. 
you know, it is in the order of thousands to tens of thousands as opposed to half a million dollars for production. This drastic reduction in price means more CAR T cells can be made, more people can be treated and cured. Last year, Ken and his team launched a new clinical trial to show what their treatment can do. It was just in time for Todd O'Shea, snatched back from the brink of death. Todd, you know, was, was incredibly sick when we gave him the CAR T cells. Um, we really were, were not sure that he would survive because he was, he had the, the, the double whammy of having leukaemia that was resistant to all of other standard chemotherapies that, that we expected should actually have any effect. And he had an active infection, a, a really, a very significant infection in his lung. Watching him go through even up the, the two weeks after the T-cells, um, was definitely probably the two worst weeks of my life, seeing Todd so sick. Um, so the day when sort of things started to get better, it was just like, wow, we've got through this. When we meet Todd several months post-treatment, he's better than ever. OK, so what have we got here? It's a TD42. He's in complete remission with CAR T cells in abundance to destroy any more cancer that might develop. This is going to completely take your mind off your recovery, isn't it? Yep, 100%. Do you remember how good you felt when you first heard that the result was negative? I, I do. I was... I couldn't believe it. And then, um... Really? Yep. I couldn't believe that there was no cancer in me at, at all. And, um, yeah, I thought, this was it. This is a, the new beginning. Thirty-year-old Gareth Choke is about to receive his own T cells, individually designed to target his cancer. Uh, Karen will draw up the cells into a syringe and she'll just inject it through. For such a momentous occasion, the new treatment is deceptively simple and quick and painless. We have seen uh, in the patients that we've given the CAR T cells to so far that within a month we generally um, have seen the, the level of response. And that's pretty quick, isn't it, in cancer treatment? Yes, it can often take several cycles of chemotherapy before you start to see you know, complete remissions. While Todd O'Shea is clear for now, he must wait five years before he can consider himself cured. Do you dare contemplate the word cure? Yes. I think they ha they, we have to draw a line in the sand and listen to the doctors and if five years is, is normally sort of the benchmark, yeah, cure. That's, that's what we're going for. Because so. the whole expression of cure for cancer was yeah, just a mad dream, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, hopefully this is the, the start of many more stories like Todd's that yeah, can see these great outcomes and, yeah. He's a pioneer. He is. Gareth, how are you going? Good. Have a seat, Thanks. have a seat. Good to see you. Today, three months after his treatment, Gareth Choke finds out whether leukaemia is still present. Now, the bone marrow biopsy uh, from just before Christmas, uh, all the results have come back from that now, and that shows that you are continuing to be in a complete molecular remission. So that's by even the most sensitive test that we've got available, there's no evidence of the leukaemia. So, so that's, I mean, that's really, really good. It's the best news possible for Gareth being handed this extraordinary lifeline. In the end, it all comes down to that human level, doesn't it? Absolutely. Somebody's kids and they're going to live now and they weren't going to. Absolutely. I mean, I... Quite often when I'm seeing these people, you know, it makes me think of my own kids and um, what I would like to provide for them is what I hope people will provide for my kids. Um, and so that, that you know, really is re it, very important, I think. I don't want to embarrass you, but you are a good and a very decent man, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, are, you are embarrassing me. So. <laughs> Until now, there has rightly been a reticence to use the words cancer and cure in the same sentence. 
Things are changing rapidly, and the fact that our two young Australians are still alive gives increased hope that the phrase, a cure for cancer, is now much closer to reality. Do you think there'll be a time when cancer is a chronic condition rather than a sentence, a death sentence? My goal would be not for it to be a chronic disease, but for us to be able to say to people, we've given you this treatment and you are cured. Cured, mm. cured of cancer. Mm. Hello, I'm Charles Woolley. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.